Hello everyone. Was that so loud? Hi everyone. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and welcome back. It's been a minute. So the last time we chatted, we were like halfway through the pandemic. We're still not done with the pandemic. People are still getting boosters and things like that, but we didn't have a vaccine at the point. I can happily report we have a vaccine now, which is so nice. I was like watching my last video and the uncertainty of being like, maybe by the time I get back, bitch, well, I'll be vaccinated. It was a scary moment. Clearly we were in a very different place than we are now and I'm grateful for that. The last time we talked, the insurrection hasn't happened yet. It's yeah! <laughs> so yeah. Hey, the queen just died. Mm. And Trisha Paytas had a baby. Ah! There's so much that's happened. What's new with me though? Oh my God, I had a root canal and then my tooth fractured and then I had to get it pulled out. You guys don't care about this, but it just happened to me this week, so bitch. If my face looks any different in a negative way, blame it on the tooth. I got LASIK. These are fake. Can you believe? I know. I had glasses all my life. So to not have glasses on feels so naked. My partner and I live together now, which is lovely. His dog moved in. This is Willy. I got a dog. This is Crouton. My son. The four of us are a beautiful little family. It's adorable. In the last video, the Chromatica Ball hadn't happened yet and I can happily report. I have been to the Chromatica Ball. I went to Chromatica. It was everything. Talented, brilliant, incredible. And another successful Lady Gaga era. <laughs> this is just for me because years from now when I go back and watch YouTube videos of myself just to see what I was up to that year, I will want to know what Lady Gaga was up to. So future me, Lady Gaga. She's still doing well. Chromatica was incredible. God is good. I feel like the biggest update of my life that pertains to y'all is- Do y'all know what Twitch is? Uh, how do I even talk about this? Uh, I feel like I'm cheating on YouTube, but like I kind of became a Twitch streamer. Not kind of, I became a Twitch streamer. So if you don't know what Twitch is, people sit in front of a camera live and sometimes they're playing games and sometimes they're just like chatting and sometimes they're doing God knows what. The possibilities are endless. In the same way like YouTube, we were like figuring out what being a YouTuber could be. You could collaborate with people. Hello! Hello. Yeah. You could do challenges. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And it feels like a brand new landscape where even more is possible. So the last time I saw you, I was downstairs in my living room, but welcome to my office. It feels like my own little version of a PeeWee's Playhouse. It's Tyler's Playhouse. It's like all of my things from my YouTube days, all of my treasures and trinkets from my Twitch streams. If they don't make sense to you now, they will soon make sense to you if you come watch a stream. So what do I do on Twitch? <laughs> on Twitch, I am live a lot of days of the week for usually like six hours at a time. And I play games and we do silly things. I just feel like there's no words that accurately sum up everything. I'll just show you. Here's what we do on Twitch. Hey sharks. Now I know what you're thinking. What's going on? Did you just call me a weirdo? I'm just vibing. Come on, squirts. I think this is marijuana. Bring me your ears, children. He's kind of undressing him. Oh my God, I didn't know you could do that. I just saw what I look like. Welcome to the carnival. <laughs> don't worry about it. Darcy, don't baby. This was not planned, and they say I'm not a gamer. But yeah! <laughs> Good vibes only. So what do you say? Are you in? So clearly I love it. And I feel like the reason I love it so much is because every day it is allowing my inner child to play and everyone in the chat's inner child to play. Everyone that comes and hangs out, it feels like we all allow ourselves to be silly, stupid messes and it feels like a safe space. I think the best part about Twitch is it's instantly collaborative with everyone in the audience. It feels like a culture that is cultivated and created in 
in collaboration at all times live. And I feel like there are new elements added to it every single stream. And how I am experiencing Twitch was how I was experiencing YouTube back in the day of like this wonder of trying to figure it out and this like excitement when I like figure out what works best for me. And the way that I felt of like, holy shit, I struck gold when I discovered like YouTube as a career for myself. I feel like I am striking gold again in the same way in an alternate universe of like, holy shit, I got lucky twice where I discovered two moments that I get to experience in my life that are so different, but so similar. I always kind of felt a little bit weird that I never told YouTube about Twitch. It kind of felt like a thing that I was doing that I wanted to develop and figure out and play around with on my own time in a safe way without any influence of any version of my past trying to dictate how I live currently or figure out Twitch. So over the past two years, I feel like I've really honed in on the games that I like and when I like to stream and how I like to stream and I kind of have a schedule now so like every Monday afternoon is Animal Crossing every Tuesday morning is like cozy games every Wednesday afternoon is chaotic community games one of the really cool things about Twitch is like every day that I stream at least one person if not many people come into the chat and they're like oh my god I didn't know you streamed I didn't know you were on Twitch I used to watch you when I was in middle school or telling me the story of how they knew me from before. It's like incredible to see these kids that supported me back in the day and bought Binge and came to the Slumber Party Tour to see what they're up to now, what you are up to now. Often it's like people being like, oh, I'm in college or oh, I'm a doctor now or the person who did my LASIK was a subscriber. It's like it boggles my mind that all of y'all are grown up <laughs> and Twitch is such an environment where I can legitimately have a conversation with that person for like an hour or two and get to know where they are now and in the way that I feel like y'all often get to introduce yourselves to me and who you are now as adults and like actualized people, I feel like I get to reintroduce myself to y'all because I feel more actualized in a lot of ways and I feel like I know myself in a more healthy way. It has never felt this personal and it never felt this intimate. In a lot of ways, it feels like the slumber party tour because it's like a glimpse into my life and it's like a peewee's playhouse version version of how I think and how I create, now I get to do it live. And I always was like, oh, I wanna make YouTube videos for as long as I enjoy it. I got to a point where I didn't really enjoy the process anymore. And that was like such a bummer for me. And I really did have to grieve that, that this thing that I loved was no longer charming to me. So to find Twitch and to love the process and to enjoy figuring it out, why wouldn't I want to share it with the people that were a part of my past as well? So that's where I've been and you're cordially invited to join us. So if you are watching this video right now, I probably am live on Twitch as I speak. Twitch.tv slash Tyler Oakley. You can go check right now. It'll probably say live. And if I am, go in the chat and say, hi, this is my first stream. I just came from a YouTube video. Like, hello. I promise you, you will get the warmest welcome of all time. We will make you feel right at home. Yeah, and I don't really know when the next time I make a YouTube video is. I was just like, I would really like to make a video, especially because today, the day I'm uploading it, I am doing a big, huge celebration of my 15 years of being a content creator. And it felt like, okay, I can't have that party on Twitch without at least inviting the people who were there for the first 13 of it. I can't have that party without inviting you guys. So if you want to come, if you want to hang, if you want to see what the hell I've been up to or reintroduce yourself or allow me to reintroduce myself, twitch.tv slash Tyler Oakley. I would love to see you. It would bring joy. But that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you on the internet. Come say hey on Twitch. And yeah, okay, that's all. Bye. You know how people say they look like their dogs? Do I look like Crouton? Does Crouton look like me? I know.